Today we've travelled down to the beautiful Phillip Island and we're at the Cowes Wastewater Treatment Plant that services approximately 19,000 customers. Hi, I'm Meg Humphreys. I'm the Wastewater and Sustainability Officer at Western Port Water. And we manage the water and wastewater services for Phillip Island and the surrounding mainland areas. This site here is capturing all of the sewerage inflow from San Remo and Phillip Island itself. When I first came through the driveway here at the Cow's Wastewater Treatment Plant and first saw the, sol the solar installations, it's just a beautiful thing to see renewable energy on the ground doing its thing. I'm personally really proud to work for Western Port Water and to be involved in creating a more sustainable future for Phillip Island and for the people that live here and for the tourists that come and go. It's a real privilege to be able to provide such an essential service. With any projects that Western Port Water works on, it's really important to engage with a really accredited contractor and it's been really great working with Greenwood on this project. Because of a lack of roof real estate, for want of a better expression, they've decided to go a ground mount system with certain stipulations. Firstly, the site had to be level. So it was decided to actually lift the site where the ground mount system was to be um, installed and the air was to be compacted and leveled out with a slight drain. The site itself is very close to the ocean and to Western Port, so obviously there's a high level of salt in the air and this really did um, dictate the design of the particular system. Everything had to be very robust to cope with this high salt concentration in the air. All water corporations are tasked to become net zero by 2050 or earlier. And the reason for that is that the water sector is considered a leader in the emission reduction journey. From in terms of the government's emissions, the water sector contributes actually quite a vast amount of greenhouse gas emissions. We're looking to take a more circular economy approach and really foster and use all of our waste materials. The resources that we can recover from our wastewater treatment plants include the solid phase, which becomes a biosolids material, and the liquid phase, which becomes a recycled water as it's treated through our Class A recycled water treatment plant. So we're aiming to ultimately not have any water disposed to the ocean, but we're working to grow always grow our recycled water use, as well as head towards our net zero journey for greenhouse gas emissions reduction. So the decision for solar to be the start of our renewable energy um, investments at Western Port Water and on this particular site was that we could install these ground mounted solar up to its capacity before it becomes a large scale site. So that was the first step really on our emissions reduction journey and these solar panels are going to really assist us to in the running of our aerators. This treatment plant consumes a lot of energy and the panels here they have um, a lower footprint than say wind turbines and through the year will be giving us a really great output of energy to assist us in energy management at our site. The monitoring is done through the, uh, the Fronius Austrian made inverters and the maintenance consists of six monthly visits back to the site where we check the electrical connections, we check the structural aspects and we also check the cleanliness of the panels. Personally, I think it's really important that the public sector service providers really take a lead here and show the community and other members what can be done with renewable energy and also take responsibility for the large amounts of energy that we also consume. So this site consumes a vast amount of energy and we need to be responsible for that 
and also contribute to an increased stability in the grid as well. So the less energy we're drawing off the system, the more stable that grid can be for the community that surrounds us. So it's an important thing for Western Port Water to continue to do and it does provide a real community benefit as well. This project's been a great opportunity to work with Greenwood and Western Port Water combined. Greenwood have helped create and make this a reality for us at Western Port Water and it's been a really great project to work collaboratively on for a shared vision for a more sustainable future.